Okay, so this is uh, Manoranjan Kumar, an assistant professor in agriculture department of uh, Suresh Gyan Bihar University. So today in this uh, lecture, we will discuss about the tillage. Okay, so uh, mainly we will focus on uh, primary tillage equipment. Okay, so at the end of uh, this lecture, the students will be able to know about uh, what is the meaning of tillage and uh, what are the uh, objective of tillage and uh, what are the different different types of tillage. Okay, and uh, we will uh, study about uh, the objective of uh, both type of tillage that is the primary tillage uh, and the secondary tillage. As well as we will see in detail about uh, the primary tillage equipment. Okay, and also we will see the what is the main difference between the primary tillage equipment and secondary tillage equipment. So <clears throat> these are the some uh, reference books the uh, students can refer for uh, this uh, this topic. The books are a practical manual on farm machinery and power, element of agricultural engineering, principle of agriculture engineering farm machinery and power so these are the some reference books the students can refer for his uh, for this topic okay now let us start the tillage what is the meaning of the tillage tillage means this is the mechanical manipulation of the soil okay for what purpose to provide favorable condition for crop production okay so tillage is mechanical manipulation of soil to provide favorable condition for crop production okay so what we do in the tillage operation basically in the soil tillage soil tillage consists of breaking the compact surface of the earth to a certain depth and to uh, loosen that soil mass okay so if the soil mass the soil mass is loosened then what happens the roots will be enabled to penetrate the soil and that roots will spread into the soil. Okay, means in one in one word we can say it will create the favorable condition for crop growth. Okay, so this is the tillage, mechanical manipulation of the soil to provide favorable condition for crop production. Okay. <clears throat> Now, what are the objective of tillage? So, first objective of tillage is to obtain deep seed bed that is suitable for different type of crops. Second objective of tillage is to add more humus and fertility to soil by covering the vegetation. Third objective by tillage, you can uh, the uh, weeds can be prevented and can be destroyed. The other objective of tillage is to aerate the soil for proper growth of the crops, to increase water absorbing capacity of the soil, to destroy the insect, pest and their breeding places. Other objective are to minimize the soil erosion. So these are the objective of the tillage. Now, the classification of tillage, the different different types of tillage. Tillage is classified into two types. There are two types of tillage. First one is the primary tillage and second one is the secondary tillage. Okay. So what is the meaning of the primary tillage and what is the meaning of secondary tillage? Primary tillage, this is the operation performed to open up to open up any cultivable land with a view to prepare a seed bed for growing crops. Okay, so this is known as the primary tillage. This is the first operation in the field. Okay, the main work of this primary tillage is to open any cultivable land. Okay, so here the plowing is done mainly to open the hard soil. In addition, the primary tillage also aims to inversion of soil, uprooting of weeds, as well as uprooting the stubble. Okay, 
So example of primary tillage are MB plow, mold gold plow, disc plow, chisel plow, subsoiler, mole plow. These are the example of primary tillage. These are the equipment which are uh, used to open up any uh, cultivable land. Okay, any hard soil. Now the secondary tillage. So the secondary tillage, the operation which uh, the operation following primary tillage, which are performed to create proper soil till for seeding and planting purpose, are known as the secondary tillage. Okay, so secondary tillage always performed after the primary tillage. Okay, so these secondary tillage are lighter and finer operation. It is performed on the soil <coughs> after primary tillage operation. Okay, since this is a lighter and finer and lighter operation, so ultimately this operation consume less power per unit area compared to the primary tillage operation. <coughs> primary tillage operation is the uh, uh, heavier operation. So in the primary tillage, uh, the uh, it will consume the more power, whereas the secondary tillage will consume the less power. Okay. Example of the secondary tillage equipments are the cultivator. Different different types of cultivators are there. This is the example of secondary tillage. Harrows, hoe. These are the example of secondary tillage. Now, under the primary tillage, the first equipment we will study here the MB plow, mold bolt plow. In the picture, you can see this is the MB plow, mold bolt. Okay. So, um, MB plow, mold bolt plow, this is the primary tillage equipment which are performed. So, first equipment under the primary tillage equipment are mold bolt plow. So, here uh, mold bolt plow, this is the uh, primary tillage equipment which are performed to cut the soil, to break the soil, and to invert the soil partially or completely. This is the main function of this MB plow to cut the soil, break the soil, or invert the soil. So what are the different functions of the MB plow? Cutting the furrow slice, lifting the soil. After cutting, it will lift the soil. After lifting, it will turning the furrow slice. And after turning, it will pulverize the soil. So this is the main four function of MB plow. Okay, in the picture, you can see this is the MB plow. Here, this is known as the mold mold. Okay. And this MB plow is to attached to the tractor. Okay. In the field. Now we will see the component of MB plow. What are the different different parts of the MB plow? So the, the different parts of the MB plow are the shear, mold mold, land side, frog, and tail piece. Here in this picture, you can see these are the part or you can say the component of MB plow. Here, this part is known as the shear. Okay. So this is the part which are responsible to cut the soil. Here MB plow, this is the MB, sorry, MB, mold bolt. So this is the part of the MB plow which are used to invert the uh, inversion of the soil, okay? This is the land side. This is the frog and this is the tail piece. So these are the main component of MB plow. Now here, First part is the shear. What is the function of the shear? It penetrates into the soil and makes a horizontal cut below the soil surface. The main function of the shear is it will cut the soil. Okay, 
So this chair, it is a sharp and well polished and pointed equipment. Okay, here you can see this chair. This is very sharp type component is this. Okay, so this chair are made of cast iron or steel. The second component of this MB plow is mold bolt. That's why the name of this uh, equipment is mold bolt plow. Okay, what is the function of this mold bolt? So, it will receive the furrow slice from the shear. Shear will cut the soil and that cut soil will be received by this MB plow. Okay, and after the receiving of that soil, this MB plow will lift the soil, turn the soil and break that soil, that furrow slice. Okay. The third component of this MB plow is land side. Okay, so land side is uh, one type of flat plate is uh, a structure is this. Here you can see in the picture, this is the land side. This is a flat uh, plate type component. Okay, and generally uh, this land side is pressed against the furrow wall. Okay, this land side pressed against the furrow wall and prevent the flow from lateral swinging. So in this way, you can say that this land side helps in stabilizing the plow while it is in operation. So, suppose if land side is not present in the MB plow, then what happens? All the furrow wall will be collapsed. And no any definite furrow wall will be formed. Okay, so this land side will stabilize the plow while it is in operation. Okay. The other component of this MB plow is frog. Okay, so what is the main function of the flow, uh, frog? The all other component of uh, the MB plow will is attached to this frog. The main function of the frog is it will combine, it will attach all other component of the MB plow. Okay, the other component of the plow bottoms are attached with the frog like this one here you can see this is the frog so to this component all other part of this mb plow is connected from this side land side is connected through some uh, nut and bolt to this side the uh, um, uh, mold bolt will be connected to this side chair is connected okay all the other parts of this mb plow is attached to this frog okay now the other component is tail piece so what is the tail piece? It is an important extension of mold bolt which helps in turning a furrow slice. Okay. So these are the main components of MB plow. Now we will see adjustment of MB plow. Okay. So what is the meaning of adjustment? Because in the uh, in the uh, in the field, what happens? There are different different types of soil. So we require uh, different different uh, depth of uh, cutting and also we will require different different uh, width of cutting okay so how you can maintain in different different type of soil so to maintain a definite shape a definite width or a definite depth of the soil we make some adjustment in the mb plow okay so for proper penetration and efficient work by the mb plow some adjustment are made from time to time and that adjustment is known as adjustment of the MB plow. So there are two types of adjustment generally uh, we done in MB plow. First adjustment is a vertical suction and second is horizontal suction. So what is the vertical suction and what is the horizontal suction here? So first is vertical suction. Okay. So here you can see this is the um, uh, MB plow in ascending position. Here, this is the shear, uh, this is the uh, 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 mold bolt, okay, this is the land side, okay. So, here you can see this uh, MB plow is in uh, ascending position, okay. So, what is the vertical clear, uh, vertical suction? So, this vertical suction is nothing but this is the maximum clearance, clearance means a space, okay. So it is the maximum clearance under the land side and the horizontal surface. 
when the plow is resting on the horizontal surface in the working position okay <clears throat> Okay. So also you can uh, define this vertical section in easy way that it is also defined as the vertical distance from the ground measured at the joining point of shear and land side. Here you can see this is the ground surface and here this is the MB plow. So vertical distance from the ground and the joining point of shear and land side. So suppose here the shear from this side shear is joining and from this side land side is joining. So this joining point here, here, this point. So the vertical distance between this point and the ground surface. This vertical distance is known as the vertical suction. Okay. So what is the use of this vertical suction? This vertical section will help the plow to penetrate into soil to a proper depth. Okay, so vertical suction measures the uh, depth of the soil, depth of cutting. Okay, so this uh, clearance varies according to the size of the plow. So this is the vertical suction. Now the other is horizontal suction. What is the meaning of horizontal suction? So this is the maximum clearance between the land side and the furrow wall. Okay, that is the horizontal section. Okay, means the distance between the land side and the furrow wall. That distance, that spacing is known as the horizontal section. Okay, so what it uh, gives, what it measures, it will give the proper width of the uh, furrow slice. So this vertical section helps the plow to cut the proper width of the furrow slice. Okay. So if we are uh, uh, changing the width of the furrow slice, then we have make some arrangement in the horizontal section. Means the spacing we have to make some arrangement between the land side and furrow wall. Okay. So this horizontal section varies according to the size of the plow. And this horizontal section is also known as the side clearance. Okay. Now, third is the throat clearance. What is the meaning of throat clearance? It is the per perpendicular distance between shear point okay, and lower position of the beam of the plow. Here you can see this is the MB plow and this is the beam. Okay. So, the vertical distance between the shear point, this one, this is there, so this point, and the lower position of the beam. This vertical distance is known as the throat clearance. Okay, so these are the some adjustment of MB plow. Now the second component of this primary tillage equipments are is the disc plow. Okay, so here in the picture you can see this is the disc plow. Here some discs are there. So this discs are responsible to cut the soil and invert the soil and break the soil plot. Okay, so this plow is a plow which cut, turn and in some cases break furrow slice by means of separately mounted large steel disc. Okay. So it reduces friction by making a rolling plow bottom instead of sliding plow bottom. Okay, so how the MB plow cut the soil with the sliding action of that shear? And how the disc plow cut the soil by the rolling action of the disc? Okay, so a disc plow works well in the condition where MB plow does not work satisfactorily. Okay, what are the advantage of the disc plow? 
So a disc plow can be forced to penetrate into the soil which is too hardy and dry for working with a MB plow. Okay, in that condition we can use the disc plow. Also the disc plow can work well in the a sticky soil. In a sticky soil, MB plow does not work well. Okay, in the sticky soil, uh, the MB plow will kill. Okay, but this plow works well in the sticky soil. The other advantage of this disc plow is it is more useful for deep plowing. Where deep plowing is required, in that condition we would use the disc plow. The fourth advantage of this disc plow is it can be used safely in a stony and a stumpy soil without much danger of breakage. Okay, so if there is a stony and a stumpy soil, so if you are using the in uh, in this type of soil, uh, if you are using the MB plow, then what happens? The shear will be damaged. Okay, when the shear comes in contact with the stone, then it will be damaged. But when you are using the disc plow in this case, then that disc will over ride on that stone because some springs are there in the a disc plow so with the help of that spring the disc plow will override on the stone okay and it will um, uh, it will protect itself from the damage okay that's why in the if, if in the land there are a stony and a stumpy soil in that condition we will use the disc plow in a in, uh, in uh, rather than the mb plow so a disc plow works well even after a considerable part of the disc is worn off in abrasive soil. Okay. So these are the some advantage of disc plow. Now this advantage of disc plow, this is not suitable for covering surface stress and weed as effectively as MB plow does. Second disadvantage is that the disc plow leaves the soil in rough and more cloudy condition. Okay. But this type of floating uh, uh, condition is not left when you are plowing by the MB plow. Okay. So this is the disadvantage of this plow. It will leave the soil in rough and more floating condition. Okay. The third disadvantage of this disc plow is that this plow is much heavier than the MB plow for equal capacity. Okay. The weight of this plow is more than the MB plow. Now the component of the disc plow, you can see these, this is the disc plow and here all the components are shown here. The, what are the different components of the disc plow? The disc is there. Okay, these are the discs. Here also you can see these discs are independently connected to the mainframe. Okay. So this is the disc which are used to cut and turn the soil. A scraper is there, so some scraper will be there here. Okay, in the picture, this scraper is not shown. A scraper is fitted at this point here. Okay, the so main function of a scraper is that it will remove the um, that 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 soil which are uh, uh, getting uh, a stick on the surface of the disc. Okay, furrow wheel. This is the furrow wheel or in the wheel you can say this is the frame on which all the other components are attached this is the three point linkage so through this linkage you can attach this uh, equipment to the tractor okay the driver is there here some springs are there so this part can reduce the vibration okay this uh, excel base is there hub disk to hold the disk here hubs are there so it will have to hold the disc at the proper position. Okay, so these are the main component of the disc plow. Now, uh, first part is disc. So what is the disc? Disc is a circular con concave revolving steel plate used for cutting and inverting the soil. The disc turns the furrow slice to one side with a, a scooping action. Okay, the the size of the disc is generally it is 60 centimeter to 90 centimeter in diameter and this turns a 35 to 30 centimeter furrow slice okay 
द एज ऑफ द डिस्क इज वेल शार्प टू कट द सॉइल इच डिस्क रिवॉल्व ऑन अ स्टब एक्सल इन अ थ्रस्ट बियरिंग कैरी एट द लोअर इन ऑफ अ स्ट्रॉन्ग स्टैंड व्हिच इज बोल्डेड टू द फ्लो बॉटम ओके सो इन द डिस्क फ्लो डिस्क आर अटैच्ड सेपरेटली ऑन द हब ओके now the disc angle and tilt angle there are two types of angle which are more uh, very very important uh, for uh, for agriculture students what is the disc angle what is the tilt angle okay so these are the some adjustment when you are plowing in the field then you have to make some adjustment for getting the proper width of cutting or proper uh, width of uh, proper width of the cutting okay so disc angle what is the disc angle this angle is the angle at which the plane of the cutting edge of the disc is inclined to the direction of the treadle okay so you can say that the disc angle is the angle between the plane of the disc and the direction of the treadle that angle is known as the disc angle okay so what is the range of the disc angle it ranges from 40 degree to 45 degree to obtain the desired width of the cut okay the second is tilt angle so what is the tilt angle it is the angle at which the plane of the cutting edge of the disc is inclined to a vertical line okay so in the simple language we can say the tilt angle is the angle between the edge of the disc and the vertical line this, this angle is known as the tilt angle so the range of this tilt angle is 15 degree to 25 degree for penetration okay so tilt angle will give the depth of cutting whereas the disc angle will give the width of the cutting if you are want if you um, if you want the desirable depth width of the cutting then you have to make some adjustment in the disc angle and if you want to make some uh, required some uh, desirable uh, depth of cutting then you have to make some adjustment some changes in the tilt angle okay if you decrease the tilt angle then more depth of cutting you will get if you uh, increase the tilt angle then you will get the less depth of cutting okay so you can in this way you can make some adjustment in the uh, uh, this angle okay for uh, getting proper width of cutting and proper width, uh, depth of cutting okay now the other component of this disc plow is the gauge wheel okay so what is the gauge wheel and uh, or furrow wheel it rest gauge wheel or furrow wheel it rest on axle at the side of the plow and is designed to ensure a constant depth of the penetration by the disc on uneven ground which free the operator from constant depth monitoring to create side to side stability in the plow it cuts at an opposing angle from the main disc Uh, blade <clears throat> so main function of this gauge wheel is to ensure the constant depth of penetration by the disc okay this is the disc this is the end wheel or gauge wheel this one okay so it will ensure that the disc is uh, uh, cutting the soil at a proper depth okay. now the other component of this this uh, plow is a scraper so this is a device to remove the soil that tends to stick to the working surface of a disc in other components are the frame it must be a strong enough to support the weight of all the disc and other parts but it should be light in weight enough to allow efficient pulling okay 
so this frame should not be so much uh, heavy and uh, it should not be so much light okay if it is too heavy then there will be efficient there will be uh, some problem in pulling by the tractor okay. if it is lightweight then uh, uh, this will not uh, uh, cut the soil to a proper depth so there should be some uh, maintain uh, the minimum the average weight should be there on the frame now these are the some difference between the disc plow and the mold ball plow okay so according to the soil condition the uh, mb plow mb plow is most suitable for the vd or trashy land whereas this plow is uh, suitable in clay and uh, sticky soil dry and hard land a uh, stony and extremely loose soil mb plow if we talk about the operation then mb plow turn furrow slice completely okay but this plow can turn furrow slice a little inversion mb plow work in the field due to the sliding action of the small board okay whereas whereas the disc plow works due to the rolling action of so the, uh, it works due to the sliding action in the field where this plow it works due to the rolling action of the disc okay component if we talk about the component then mb plow has uh, a component namely shear a uh, mold gold land side frog okay whereas the disc plow has component like a disc a scraper furrow wheel etc <clears throat> the mb plow in the mb plow operation the desired depth and the desired width is controlled by horizontal section or vertical section of the plow whereas by the disc plow the desired depth and desired width is controlled by the tilt angle as well as the disc angle <clears throat> okay now draft requirement draft means draft is one type of force that is required by the tractor pull the implement okay so in case of mb plow this draft requirement will be more whereas in the disc plow this draft requirement is less okay because uh, uh, because here rolling action is there okay so in the rolling in the rolling action the rolling action the uh, draft is less whereas in the sliding action the more draft is required okay now the depth of the plowing in the mb plow the depth of plowing is less whereas in the disc plow the depth of the plowing is more so these are the some difference between the mb plow and disc plow okay so here we have seen in this topic the tillage what is the tillage and uh, in, uh, what are the objective of tillage uh who are the different different types of tillage the two types are there primary tillage and secondary tillage uh, the primary tillage what are the equipment in the primary tillage so mb plow disc plow chisel plow subsoiler and mold plow these are the equipment in the primary tillage whereas in the secondary tillage the equipments are cultivator harrow hoe okay so this equipment perform the lighter operation whereas the primary tillage equipment perform the heavier operation okay so first operation in the field is the primary tillage operation and secondary tillage always perform after the primary tillage operation okay now the we have seen the component of uh, different uh, equipment of uh, mb uh, primary tillage that is first is the mb plow we have seen what is the mb plow and what are the function and what are the different component of mb plow okay these are the component 
uh, and how you can adjust the MB plow to get the proper width of cutting or proper depth of cutting. Okay. Now this plow we have seen what is the advantage and disadvantage of the disc plow and also we have seen the different components of the disc plow and what are its functions. Okay. Now also we have seen the adjustment of the disc plow to get the proper width of cutting and proper depth of the cutting. So this adjustment is done with the help of disc angle as well as the tilt angle. Okay. And in the last we have seen the comparison between the disc plow and MB plow. Okay. So on the basis of today's lecture, there is some uh, quiz type question here you can solve. So this will uh, help you to understand this topic better. Okay. So first question is, uh, this is a very easy question. Uh, a uh, first question is mechanical manipulation of soil to provide favorable conditions for crop production is called tillage, seepage, percolation. So obviously this is the tillage. Seepage is related to the water flow and percolation is also related to the water flow. Okay, so the correct option is A, tillage. Similarly, the second question is the operation performed to open up any cultivable land with a view to prepare a seed bed for growing crop is known as yeah, primary tillage or secondary tillage. The, here you can see this word to open up any cultivable land. So this work is done by the primary tillage. So correct option is primary tillage. Okay. So, in the same manner, the other question is, which of the following operations consume less power per unit area? Okay. So, which op operation consume less power? Two types of operation, primary tillage operation or secondary tillage operation. Primary tillage is heavier operation. So, it will require the more power, whereas the secondary tillage is lighter operation. It will require, require the less power. Okay. So, consume less power, but the correct option is secondary tillage. Okay. Similarly, the other questions are here. Primary tillage operations are performed on the soil after secondary tillage operation. No. Secondary, uh, primary tillage is the first operation in the field, whereas secondary tillage is followed after the primary tillage. Okay, so this sentence is incorrect, false. Okay, so similarly, the other questions are primary tillage are lighter and finer operation. No, primary tillage is heavier operation. It has to do, you have uh, this primary tillage have to do, uh, have to open up any cultivable land. Okay, so that's why it requires more force. Okay, so this is not a lighter operation, this is false statement. B. Other is the mold bowl plow is a secondary tillage equipment. Mold bowl plow, no, this is the primary tillage equipment. Under the primary tillage equipment, MB plow is there. Okay, so this is the fall. The disc plow is a secondary tillage equipment. Yes, this plow comes under the secondary tillage equipment. The correct option is A. False, false, false. This plow is a secondary tillage equipment. No, no, no. This plow is primary tillage equipment. This is a heavier uh, operation. Okay. So this is false. Which of the following is a secondary tillage equipment? Pigeon or Hyro. So Hyro is a secondary tillage equipment. Which of the following is a primary tillage equipment? Primary tillage. Subsoiler or hoe. Hoe does very lighter operation. So this uh, could not be a primary tillage equipment. So uh, correct option is subsoiler. Okay. Now cultivator is a secondary tillage implement. Cultivator, yes. Cultivator, cultivator uh, does the lighter operation. Okay. So this is the A is the correct option. Okay. So this is the question related to our topic. Now I think other. Yes, 
more question is there so you can attempt here which of the following part of mb plug is used to cut the soil which part of the mb plug so correct option is shear there is used to cut the soil okay which of the following part of mb plug is used to stabilize the plug okay stabilize the plug so that the furrow wall cannot collapse so this function is done by land side okay shear will cut the soil mold wall will pulverize the soil so a stabilized the plow is done by the land side okay horizontal suction of mb plow help the plow to penetrate into the soil to a proper depth horizontal suction proper depth no horizontal suction it will give the width of the cutting so this is the incorrect option Frog is that part of plow bottom to which the other component of the plow bottom are attached. Yes, it is correct. Okay, vertical section of MB plow is the maximum clearance between the land side and the furrow wall. This is false. Range of tilt angle is fifteen degree to twenty five degree. Okay. Range of disc angle is forty degree to forty five degree. It is a disc angle range is more than the tilt angle. Okay. So this is very important. You should remember these things. What is tilt angle and what is the this angle so it is the angle at which the plane of the cutting edge of the disc is inclined to the direction of travel that is the disc angle okay it is the angle at which the plane of the cutting edge of the disc is inclined to a vertical line this is the tilt angle and it will give the proper width of the cutting land side is a part of the disc plow no no land side is a part of mb plow Correct. Okay. So these are so these are some questions related to today's topic. so this is uh, uh, for today's lecture now in the next next lecture uh, we will discuss about uh, the secondary tillage equipment okay like we will see the hydro cultivator etc okay so this is all about for today's lecture